Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. I have a special guest here with me today, Mr. Aviv Raf from Seculart. He is the founder and CTO of Seculart. And Aviv has done a lot of really groundbreaking research looking into the back end of exploit kits and that entire on the world. I want to ask, uh, start by asking, has there been, what, what, what would you say has been the major evolution of exploit kits from the server side over, say, the last two years? Uh, has there been any significant uh, advancement, any sort of unique, sophisticated things happening that you can share with us? Well, basically, mo most of the uh, major advancement in, in terms of uh, exploit kits are mostly in the user interface, and less, actually less about the actual like, exploits. Right, so the, the control panel, the user interface yeah. that the bad guys look at and they use. Exactly. Uh, what they added basically is a v very fancy uh, looking interface. They added um, major statistics when you can actually see uh, which uh, exports are being most uh, mostly eff uh, effective. And this is generally just an upgrade of the... Because it's always had, uh, in, over the years, it's always had uh, control panels and statistics and yeah. so on. What has been some of the significant improvements that you've noticed in these control panels? Uh, they add like uh, a very cool interfaces when you can actually see uh, interface like Windows, oh, okay. uh, which basically it's a web interface, but uh, you actually can open Windows. So the whole graphic, the yeah. graphical nature of it has been improved. And, and I, I also heard you mention in your presentation uh, the addition of a virus total like um, Okay, so, so uh, yeah, so, so, scanning components. So, so this is le less with the uh, exploit kit. There is actually just one exploit kit using uh, an integration of a virus total like uh, uh, a service. So let, let's start first by explaining what is uh, okay. VirusTotal. So VirusTotal is, uh, is a, a, a legitimate service uh, by a company named Ispasec. Right. They, they, use, uh, they allow you to upload samples of uh, viruses and they, they check uh, uh, with uh, various vendors uh, uh, which vendor can detect this sample. So uh, what uh, the uh, criminals are doing now, they, can, uh, they added new services much like VirusTotal, but uh, virus uh, while well, virus total send uh, the samples to the AV uh, companies in order to help them with detecting the right, uh, right. Uh, the actual samples, uh, the cyber criminals are not sending them, and they also charge other cyber criminals money for that to use it. And, yeah. and these are scanning services that scan Ag against Ag all the regular antivirus. Yeah, companies. exactly. They actually work as advertised. Have you ever been? Have you ever uh, looked yeah. at these I, tools? Uh, the, the tools are actually work. They have, uh, uh, of course, cracked versions. They right, don't, right, they, right. They don't pay f uh, uh, for uh, to the uh, to the AV companies. Uh, and they recently also integrated that in or, into exploit kits and malware kits. Right. There is one exploit kit called Siberia where you can, can actually go and, and uh, scan the actual exploit and, and, uh, and the uh, malicious code uh, within 31 yeah, yeah. different uh, AV vendors. AV vendors. Uh, and also with SpyEye you can uh, check with uh, uh, Virtust. This is right, uh, right, one, right. Of, uh, one of the uh, websites that Right. You, you mentioned SpyEye. There's been talk uh, recently of a merger between SpyEye and Zeus, yes. which is not a very common uh, exploit kit. Or exploit uh, it's pack. a malware kit. Yeah. Malware kit. Yeah. Um, what has happened since that merger? Has there been any change on the, on the server side? Has there been any uh, significant uh, Evolution happening based on that merger. Yes, uh, what we have seen, uh, we've seen two different uh, types of, of evolution. First is with the web interface. The, uh, now they can, uh, you can actually choose between uh, the SpyEye version uh, of, of the administration panel or the Zeus version. Um, and, and the other one is with actual uh, features that uh, once were only in Zeus, and now they're. Uh, um, been right, uh, right. been uh, ported to the actual Spire version. Right. So so the actual uh, core uh, uh, backend of of the web uh, of the website is uh, is is Spire and new features from from Zeus are being ported to the Spire. So if I'm a Zeus customer, uh, I, do I have the option to, to 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 maintain my Zeus interface versus having to use a Spire? Yeah, you, you, a, you, a, a merging you, of the interface as well. Yeah, you you just you just need to choose. You you, you get them both, and you just choose which which you're uh, which you're right. more like. That's it. Right. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, really positive movement around botnet takedowns. Uh, Microsoft and you know security companies in general have moved to the courts and getting 
law enforcement help with disabling and removing uh, bots, uh, killing botnets. How are the bad guys responding to that? Are they making any specific efforts to harden their botnets, make it much more, uh, you know, Okay, so, 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 so in order to make it more difficult, they either use uh, uh, rogue uh, hosting facilities where the actual hosting facilities are being run by cyber criminals. Right. Uh, but this, uh, but this was, uh, uh, but still, uh, you know, the uh, law enforcement were able, still able to shut down those uh, servers. So what they are now doing, they they move to a new type of infrastructure, uh, which is called proxy-based networks, right. which basically uh, the command and control servers are hidden behind a, a, a botnet. So uh, okay. the the actual uh, traffic is being streamed via uh, infected machines. Uh, are there are there have you seen anything new around the lines of evasion, not just evasion of AV? Uh, antivirus software, but evasion and hiding from security researchers like you who kind of poke into that interface? Uh, yes, uh, what they do, they, they will try to understand whether uh, is the actual malware be, is trying to uh, communicate uh, with the right. command and control or, or it's just, you know, uh, security vendors trying to poke around. Right. And if they uh, found that this is not the real malware trying to communicate, we try to uh, uh, to show uh, some f uh, fake information, either it's like uh, uh, fake uh, uh, error messages, uh, whether it's like fi uh, "find not found" or uh, for, right, uh, right, "forbidden right. access," or it will, will, will uh, show you uh, actual fake administration panel. If you, uh, you will try to log in, and you'll see uh, uh, very nice statistics, but the actual statistics are fake. Right, it's fake. Well, it sounds very, very fun and interesting work that you do. Um, hopefully, you know your work helped to. Keep the world safe and keep all of us secure. Thank you very much, Avi. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. You can check out some other webcasts at youtube.com slash Kaspersky. Mm -hmm.